Lord of Flames here. I'm a road director, edited, producer as well. Even Jesse was producer, but since you might look in the credits of the ending of part two, that it does show his name on it, it's because I really forgot. So, I'm the one who made the story of it, film, the stories, even of making the Nitro Plex universe, and mostly my own character, Fred Keaton, or known as Michael. Hello there, I'm Gid Dahmer, and I provided the voice for a couple people in Brandon's series. Uh, mostly I do Nightmare and all those evil characters of some sorts. But yeah, Brandon wanted me to make this video to talk about this and talk about my experiences with working with him. And I have to say, he is actually a really great person to work with. He doesn't really, like, you know, gather on about other things. He actually, you know... He's done some couple work for me in the past, like he's done some uh, horror movie thumbnail creations, and recently he's helped me make my new intro, which I really, I really love it. Even though I haven't really saw it yet, but I, I really, I really love it though because he's somebody who really takes passion in his work and he really just loves doing what he does, what he does. I mean, <laughs> but yeah, he's just a really awesome dude and one of my good friends. Hello everybody who's watching this on Lord of Flames' channel, I am Golden Freddy Gaming, or Jesse as, you know, my real name is. Uh, welcome to the, um, uh, the Last Night movie part 2 behind the scenes. Uh, this is a series that me and Lord of Flames made up, and it's kind of like a fan-made series based off of the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Fred Caton universe, which is now known as the Natural Plex universe. And it's kind of based on the, um, the, uh, what do you call it? Um, it's like the audio of, um, creepypastas, I guess, uh, from Five Nights at Freddy's, The Hidden Lore, um, I am a fellow YouTuber, which started my channel in 2015, and I got loads of subscribers based on my Minecraft videos. And, um, I'm starting to get out of school for the summer, and my birthday is actually next month in June. So stay tuned to my channel to see a live stream. The plot of the last night movie. Part 2. That is like a really quick movie. That is like a, a small battle or a big battle with a quick big battle, I mean, with Willie Apton, Shadow Fred, and Mike Smith versus Springtrap or Fred Caton or Michael, known as Springtrap, with Nightmare, John Frick, and Inner, and mostly the Army of the Dead. So, nothing that much for that part ever since that. Some of you didn't watch it on my spoiler that William, well, that Nightmare did kill Shadow Fred, that mostly his son. And, but Mike Smith and William Anthony did what they did. They made a plan that Mike Smith, Mike Smith had to use those two TNTs or dynamites or something like that. To get behind Nightmare and blow it up the Fast Bear's Fright. That those are powerful dynamites or something like that. To destroy that creature. And send Nightmare back to hell. Well, blow it up his body or something like that. And, uh, and Nightmare got back to hell. But that... Do you think that was real Nightmare? We'll see if I know. But anyways. For Springtrap or Fred Caton or Michael... Truly survived from the explosion. He escaped from hell. Then he just flew up out of the hell of the hole and to the other side of the neighborhood where he landed to the road closer to that well that my friend supposed to say that he just said a big hole or something like that. But it, like the big hole was that hell close on Vesper Fright, but this one. Anyways, that will, that he truly survived, but he got a little bit damage of that explosion, a bit. But Willie Adden and Mike Smith caught him, and they shot him, cut him, or sliced him so many times to destroy him. 
and Springtrap mostly got in so many damage now. But then that William, William Afton used his knife or no, wait, it's a sword. Slice Michael's head. But rather just like, I don't know. Slice right here. Or doing it like this. And that the mask, well, both of those masks from the jaw crack and broke. And that's why everybody thought that he died, that he just fell in the well screaming, but that was his last one, that he might die. But back in Mike Mike Smith's house, that they both won, but they think they had won. That they defeat the evil and end all the franchise and everything. What well, they actually did end the franchise of the Freddy Fazbear Pizza. So yeah, this is the last one of the last version of the Fun Nights of Freddy's first con cop and everything like that. It's already gone. But they think they truly defeat, defeat Michael. But Mike, he is truly dead by Spring Trap Michael. Not Michael Afton, but our different last name. But I didn't figure out what kind of last name that Michael, Nightmare, or Shadow Fred does have. But Ever since William Afton did saw his body, he's screaming or yelling up, no, 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 so many times, like Father, like Dr. Loomis, that he just saw one and only Michael. He lives once again. The plot of it is when me and uh, I forgot the, uh, what was the name of the character you were playing as? William Afton, uh, like, we were fighting Fred Caton, known as Springtrap, and also entered, and we were also fighting Nightmare, the main, uh, villain of the, uh, series. And, uh, in part two, uh, uh, is it okay if I spoil something? Uh, basically, um, Springtrap falls down a hole, like, behind Fazbear's Fright, and main plot or fight, uh, starts at Fazbear's Fright, where there's, like, a big hole in the ground. And, uh, basically, Nightmare comes out of it. And, you know, like, you'll see that in the, uh, Last Night Part 2. If, you know, you haven't already, uh, seen it, go ahead and watch it. To find mysteries or horror that I always get used to horror back then, ever since I was very young at the time when my dad told me or Hunter if we can watch this first, this horror movie, my first time of watching horror that is fact called Fright Night, that 80s film. And ever since I was scared of looking at that poster of that creepy smiley face vampire or something like that behind the house. But ever since I watch it, I just like Wow. I didn't even know what horror was like this. I think I could watch more. Like I can watch more if I wanted to. But that's why I get used to horror to these days. And that's why everything's was wrong with me of making horror. But for this movie of horror, it's a little bit part of horror, but a little bit part for mysterious and secrets, and mostly a little bit battles, perhaps. But there's nothing that much for part one. Yeah, mostly. To explain horror, pretty much, is my idea of horror is uh, something you cannot see or control, sort of like uh, the insidious movies of some sorts. Or uh, Michael Myers to be exact, because it's just, it's, it's a horrifying feeling not to be able to protect your family from whatever's waiting in the darkness trying to attack you.
you know, pretty much waiting there and seeing uh, signs that there's something like an entity inside your house, sort of like the movie uh, Poltergeist, which really terrified me when I first saw it. But yeah, horror for me would have to be supernatural or classic slasher, such as Kane Hodder and my hero, Robert England. My favorite scene of the last night movie part two is mostly that it's truly the ending. That Michael truly lives with his evil laughter. That he killed Mike Smith and he laughed insane. When William Afton yelling no, no, so many times. The final battle scene between you and, uh, between you, uh, Nightmare and Springtrap. Alright. Well, us two, uh, uh, between Nightmare and Springtrap. Oh crap! It's black and white. Uh, it's the same thing as the part one, basically. It's just like it's just uh, it's kind of slowed down a little bit, but um, it's just like all black and white, you know, like with the black and white filter. And that looks yeah, like, that looks like in the fifties or sixties or forties or fifties. Yeah. Colorless, but I know I didn't made the colorless of part two yet. But for the colorless for part one or anything like that, I'm trying to make it looks like in the fifties or sixties or probably forties. Like to make things look a little bit different. Like for the colorless, like for the part one that shows a little bit deleted scenes that never been showed up or Probably alternate endings. <sighs> you think this is over? But I'll soon see you again. But for now, I got the job to do. Of killing. <laughs> home, sweet home. Favorite character of mine could be Nightmare, perhaps. Ever since part one, it was William Afton, but now I was changing to Nightmare because he was truly evil. He was truly the father of Michael this whole entire time that I never tell you back then. Ever since part one came out, a good dammer never knows. Of his character of Nightmare that he played as was in fact the father of Michael and Shadow Fred. That he those two were his sons, his child. But even though if he is the father, what happened to his wife? You'll soon find out next time. The effects for the last night movie part two. <laughs> Uh, we keep saying that, but for the effects or digital effects, it's like you never see any, any digital effects around, but you might see a little bit, a little bit, for the part that Michael fell to the big hole of hell and transformed himself as Nightmare of his father, bring him back. But you might see those little bit of flames coming out for a little bit of the hole and mostly black liquid like floating up or something like that. Those are the only digital effects in this movie. So yeah. 
Let's ready. Three, two, one, action. Okay, turn around, look at the down of the hell. Rise, my master. For now, you are never hide behind the walls. For now, you are... Now you go to hell. It's over. Green Diamond, are you ready to be back at Spring Drop? Okay, Nightmare's got defeated. Okay. Okay. Follow me. Okay, you're going to... Okay, when... Fly. Fly behind the fast bird fright. What? Still alive? Again? So like you're having a lot of damage, of course. Okay, don't move yet. Okay, come here, Jesse. Yes, we live through all that. I'm sure we could survive from its memory. The magic that Nightmare did to Shadow Friend makes him disappear, but I'm sure he's in heaven. But it's important that Fred is in hell, where he belongs. Favorite, favorite lines. Probably. Um, probably Mike Smith saying that ever since he couldn't believe that William Upton that he said like, "Are you kidding, bro? That would never work for your own eternity or something like that." I guess he said that in the script. I need to look back in the script. Talk about this movie pretty much what I'm talking about in it is this movie is really great in how it is put together. I love his animations, his I'm not really that big of a Minecraft fan, but pretty much tell you, Brandon has a pretty great story that does some references to one of our favorite YouTubers, uh, Patrick Ferguson, Mr. Betty Krueger, and a couple other people. But I really do love Brandon's dedication and such. He is a really great artist, what he does. And I will always work with him in the future because he is the one who rocks behind the wall of flames. I want to say to Get Dahmer, Gwyneth Freddy Gaming, Green Diamond, Fortnite 2, and Proper Guy 00, I would want to say to you all, thank you for helping me, and I appreciate it for you all to help me to make this film come to life. It's all thanks to you guys being part of this movie. If I couldn't have any help without you guys or anyone I know, this story wouldn't come at all. No nitroplex or anything. But I'm so happy for you all to help me. You guys truly are amazing to be part of this movie. Besides, if there, since there is, since there is going to be a sequel, it still be there. But backseat, <laughs> even though. It, me and Jesse took really, really took our time in part one to make it, but for part two, it might be a little bit hard because of the battle. 
He even sent Green Diamond and Purple Guy 00 having a hard time to acting a bit. But they might come back for the next sequel. Will they? And most of all, I really appreciate it for you all guys. Thank you for helping me. You are in fact the best. You better fucking subscribe. <laughs> don't fuck me in your sleep. Don't fuck sleep. What the fuck, Dan?